What would you do here as white? We have extra material, but if black managed to capture this pawn, it's theoretical draw. So we have to win this game through tactical means. Can you see the move? Did you think it was to sacrifice this pawn? It's interesting. They take, we can check, and we can hope for a skewer. But the problem is black plays king d7, and we don't have enough room. Let's go back. What about rook h8? Maybe if we threaten the queen, they will take our pawn, and we can skewer them, right? No. Black has an amazing move here. The intermediate bishop a6 check. A tempo move that saves the bishop first. And then black takes the pawn. And this is a draw. So let's go back. There's only one winning move here for white. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It is to sacrifice the rook. Rook d6. Why? This move sacrifices rook and puts black in a zug swamp. They can't take because we queen, and they have to make a move. If they move the king to take the pawn, we can fork. And they can move the bishop, but if they move it to a8, we can play rook d8, double attack. If they play bishop e4, we can sacrifice rook again, double attack. Bishop f3, rook f6, double attack. And finally, they could try to take shelter in the corner. But now we don't want to move the rook because then the bishop comes back to d5 because we can't promote. So we use our king. And this bishop has officially run out of all the squares. So anywhere they go, we will end up attacking the bishop and white is winning.